Welcome back to Olympus Critics. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a like for the algorithm that does help the channel grow. So we gotten some news from the Hollywood Reporter and other outlets that Guillermo del Toro did have a Job of the Hut film in the works. This was also confirmed from a writer, David S. Goyer, who was going to be the writer of the film. And this was just a total, total loss on Lucasfilm in my opinion. This is an Academy Award winning director. And this is not the first director we heard that tried to get a Star Wars film in there. I think Zack Snyder, if I'm not mistaken, I heard a lot of people and a lot of outlets say that Rebel Moon was supposed to be a, a more grittier tone Star Wars film, but they did not want to take a, take on that project. They thought it was too gritty, if I'm not mistaken. So Rebel Moon is like the trailer showed us. It did feel like a lot of Star Wars mixed with a lot of Doom. And that's another director that they didn't want a part of the Star Wars franchise, I assume. And Guillermo del Toro, I'm very surprised because this was a Jabba the Hutt film that would have been taking place on Tatooine. We would have got probably a better sto story on that planet than what we got in the book of Boba Fett when he was dealing with the, the crime syndicate and all that underworld stuff. I think Guillermo del Toro would have brought that stuff to life just by watching movies like Hellboy and um, I forgot the movie where he won an award on. I, I apologize. I should know what that movie is called, but um, it, it just tells you he, he knows how to dive into a world like that, dealing with creatures and monsters and all that. So you, you just could imagine what type of aliens and beings we would have saw in his Star Wars film and what type of story he would have told. He really probably would have dived deep into the lore of that crime syndicate and, and the huts and probably some different gangs that we haven't seen other than the pikes and all those other ones who probably would have saw cad bane maybe would have saw cad bane that's, hyp that's hypothetical i don't think i don't think he knew too much about that character but it sucks that we we we, we, we won't get this movie it would have been nice i would have been all i would have been all in on this with a guillermo del toro star wars film it just maybe it, a lot of people are right maybe it's time for disney to let lucasfilm go because if you got directors like this and Zack snyder and others that want to get involved in star wars and they want to make films and you're not giving them a shot then that's not good for the fans because i'm if i would have knew this a, a while before the sequel the sequel series 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 i mean movies were coming out with jj abrams I would have been like, you tell J.J. Abrams, we need to, you need to hold on this and let's get this Guillermo del Toro film going. The sequel films need to wait. All that race stuff, I would have been like, let's pause that. Let's see what he can do because he's a more established director. No, no shade on J.J. Abrams, but I'm going to take Guillermo del Toro over him any day. Maybe even Zack Snyder as well. But yeah, that's all we got about this it sucks that it didn't happen. It would have been nice. It possibly could still happen if somebody at Lucasfilm has some common sense. But right now, it just seems like it's on Lucasfilm is on the decline like Marvel. You have a few people like Tony Gilroy and others who are still keeping it afloat with the stuff that they're putting out. But I think this would have been nice to see a movie about the Huts with Jabba the Hutt with Guillermo del Toro already. But post comments, let me know what you guys thought on him having a scrapped movie about Jabba the Hutt. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel.